What's good, YouTube? Today we have Robert Tabayoyan's first place Cosmo deck profile from the Spokane Regionals. And uh, I know it's a smaller regional, but I wanted to highlight a certain card he used in three over another card and why it's really good. Uh, but let's get into his tournament report first. Okay, here it is. Haven't been to a regional in over a year. Planned on taking XYZ Monarchs and practice using them the entire week prior to the event. On Friday night, I didn't feel like I completely mastered the deck. It was still bricking like any other Monarch deck, so I switched to Cosmo last second. The regional was only seven rounds, and I took uh, ZZZ Quill for the drive up there since it was a three-hour drive. I didn't wake up until round three. That stuff's powerful. Round one, I played versus Psyframe and Iron Walls. After that, it was all meta, including one Monarch with no extra deck, two Cosmo Mirrors, one Pure BA, one Draco Pal in round six, and PK BA in round seven. I didn't main deck Allures because it's not alive 100% of the time, so I opted to play Maxi over that. It's risky because I played Reasoning, but I felt since Reasoning's at one, a one of, I won't see it that often, I'm far more likely to see at least one Maxi before Reasoning. So the odds that were somewhat in my favor. Uh, I would side max C's slash reasonings out to avoid the two crossing up, of course, depending on the matchups. Skill Drain was there because I didn't have Chaos Trap Holes and didn't plan on using them in my Monarch side deck at the time. Let's see what else. Funny enough, Drain put in Mad Work versus VA since a lot of the time they aren't uh, using Lake. They do have Twin Twister. But they have a higher chance of milling it with Dante than hard drawing it. And that's exactly what happened. I didn't take the extra deck too seriously. There were better rank nines for XYZ Universe, including I included Dark Hole and Geki in the side in case Draco Pals were still a thing. I believe there there was two of them in the top eight. MVP was Twin Twister, Sword Trooper, and Call the Han, and calling back Sidra in the mirror all the time. Shouts to everyone and. Yakima Washington for playtesting and special shout out to the creators of ZZZ Quill for helping me get some sleep before the ride to the regionals. So let's get into this. Three Dark Destroyer, one Dog Fighter, two Farm Girl, one Four Runner, three Slip Rider, three Sword Trooper, one Straw Man, three Tin Can, one Wicked Witch, two Maxi, two Teleport, three Cosmo Town, one Reasoning, two Main Deck Twin Twisters, one Call of the Haunted. One skill drain, three Cosmojo, and he mains three Oasis. Now the reason for maining Oasis, because you know you you figured you want to use Call offensively, you can just go ahead and do it in phase whenever you want, and it also avoids System Down. When you chain it to System Down, it brings back your monster out as a Worm type monster and fades System Down. So several Cosmo players have been switching over to that and just using it in phase because there's no need for tricks, and it helps avoid uh, a max C during your turn. Like you you, you usually only call when going for game you can just oasis anyways during your end phase and like they're not gonna max you there's a one for one three solemn strike and one solemn word and the side deck we have the one cyber dragon but as you mentioned he bring it back to contact two flying seas one maxi one dark hole one regeki one system down himself one twin twister two magic deflector three mask restrict and two xc's universe Two Chimera Tech, one Cyber End Dragon for his Cyber Nova over here, one Pallades, one uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity, one Gaia Dragon, one Volcasaurus, one Levier, one Frozen Lady Justice, one Lancelot, one F Zero, one Interblath, one Super Mecha Beast Ram Pulse, and one Phantom Knights of Breaksword. So, again, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I know this was a smaller regional, but I really wanted to highlight this card because this card puts in a lot of work in Cosmo and avoids system down. A lot of I've seen a lot of discussions on it uh, in person, but not online. And uh, also tell me what you think about me doing the tournament report before getting into the deck list. Do you just want me to get into the deck list and then tournament report? Or do you want to put the player's voice first? Let me know, guys, and thanks for watching.